Whew, took a long time to put all those clothes on. But the question that Dangerous Liaisons makes us ask is, how long does it take to take them off? So I went ahead and took the week off last week. Not just because I needed a break, but because I wanted to spend a little extra time on this video. You see, Dangerous Liaisons is one of the films that made me realize I wanted to talk about Keanu Reeves in the first place. I think it's great. And I also think that a lot of people watching this probably haven't seen it, or maybe even heard of it. So today, I would like to convince you to watch Dangerous Liaisons. I'll try to be a bit light on the spoilers, because I really do want you to watch this movie. Dangerous Liaisons is set in what, with my limited knowledge of history, I can only describe as pre-revolutionary France. All the characters have French names, I will not be saying them. So Glenn Close is trying to get revenge on her ex-lover by besmirching the honor of his fiancée, Uma Thurman. So she calls up her friend John Malkovich and asks him to help her out with it by seducing Uma. Malkovich is like, I'm actually in the middle of trying to seduce Michelle Pfeiffer right now because her character is very religious and repressed and he likes the challenge. But since he is so known as a philanderer, he's immediately rebuffed by Pfeiffer and he has to go back to Glenn Close for help, and it goes on and on like this to increasingly disastrous ends. I won't tell you how the movie ends, but it places this perfect thin veneer of everyone gets what's coming to them moralism, which in no way detracts from the enjoyment of the earlier events of the film. And there's maybe Keanu's first action scene, so look forward to that. Guys, this movie is like the favorite levels of rich people fucking with each other. And I know a lot of people like that movie, but I will bet that a lot of you will have a lot more fun watching this movie than that one. I can't even describe it, but it is amazing. It's just a lovely movie to look at, and it did win Academy Awards for both costume design and production design. I have a particular affinity for the costumes, obviously, but the cinematography is nice too. Subtle, with a bit of flair at times. Favorite shots include the first time we see Keanu at the opera, when Glenn Close gets out of the carriage and then her expression changes, and when John Malkovich moonwalks out of a room. And the opening montage is obviously a treat. To be frank, a lot of them are pretty hot. However... So, in talking about older movies, you're bound to come across some unsavory material from time to time, as we discussed in our The Night Before video. Dangerous Liaisons is on its face about people manipulating each other with sex, so you'll probably know going into it whether that's something you're comfortable with. However, there are scenes in this film that cross the line between seduction, coercion, and straight-up assault. So, I know this can be rough for people, and despite my praise and recommendations, I want you to have the full amount of information and choice about whether you want to watch the movie. So, when you talk about an actor's filmography, what you're mostly talking about is casting. So let's step into the Keanu corner for a second, because this is quite a milestone in his career. It's a small role, but it's his first period piece, and along with that, his first non-teen role. And this is also the first time we start to get the idea that Keanu Reeves is a bad actor, because he sticks out like a sore thumb in this movie. Now, I am a fan of the actor Keanu Reeves, but I think it's fair to say that he is not someone who transforms into a role. And that's fine. With a lot of actors, it's a matter of placing them into the right role to get a great performance out of them. Maybe when I'm done with Keanu, I can talk about the genius decision to cast Army Hammer as Steve Lift in Sorry to Bother You. Anyway, Keanu is very much one of these actors whose performance is very dependent on him being well-suited for a role. And so far, he has been placed in roles that, regardless of the quality of the films themselves, he has been a good fit for. The director of River's Edge has said that he immediately knew Keanu was right for the role just based on his 
look, his body language, his untied shoes. But the great thing about the casting for Dangerous Liaisons is that they picked pretty much no one expected for any of the roles. This was a relatively early role for both Glenn Close and John Malkovich. And they both, for a movie about seduction and sexy people doing sexy stuff, have these slightly off, unsettling looks. And it works incredibly. Michelle Pfeiffer is mostly known for doing femme fatale type characters, but she kills it as the religious, repressed, reserved character in this movie. And Uma... I don't really have anything to say about her, just Uma. She's great. And Peter Capaldi is in there for the Paddington fans out there. In an era of 80s nostalgia, let's take a moment to appreciate Dangerous Liaisons. Not on the level of societal impact or changing the film landscape, but just for being a well-made movie that's a lot of fun to watch.